my name is Michal Morin, and uh, uh, the 90s uh, is an interesting period for me. And uh, when uh, Miloš uh, asked me for uh, photos from Hermit uh, five years ago, I have to say that I was too lazy to have a look in my archive the the photos and uh, now I am uh, uh, I'm sorry that I didn't do did it in that time um, and Hermit from uh, uh, for me has uh, we have uh, another another viewing on that after the book and after the web page because during the night is without uh, web uh, and uh, we we couldn't have a map, what is Miloš doing there? We knew. Yeah, th that was a web, but not in 92, yeah, 93, 94, 95, so. Okay. So we, we didn't have a such imagination of what's, what was going there, but, but what we had, that uh, we, each time when we uh, met some artists, everybody was talking about uh, Plassey. And, and uh, we used the strategy in Bratislava, in Slovakia, we used the strategy that uh, the train is going from Berlin to Budapest, but in Nove Zamki in Bratislava is uh, stop, the, the stops the train. So everybody from, from Berlin uh, every artist who was traveling from Bernie, we said to him, we will not pay you uh, traveling expenses, but jump off from the train and uh, next day you can continue. So we used this strategy and uh, we started to organize the, the events. But what I have to say is that the climate of uh, end of the 80s uh, is uh, for us the beginning of, like, let's say, the, the 90s, because many activities started after 88, 89, and uh, uh, what happens that uh, three years after revolution, so it means in 92, many of that activities stopped. So I, I say that, uh, that uh, there, were, uh, there were many activities which could be presented in Plassey, but they were finished before Prasi started ever, yeah? And, uh, and uh, uh, Dusan Barok mentioned the Society for Non-Conventional Music and Studio RT in Nove Zamki. Studio no, uh, in Nove Zamki, Studio RT was doing the experimental uh, art uh, festival and it started in 88 and uh, it was such important festival that after 20, 25 years of existence, it was the most long uh, uh, running uh, festival of performance art in the world. Yeah, and it, uh, the huge uh, network of these artists. And uh, they started in Transart Communication was the title, literature, this title. So, uh, then transact communication and this festival brings many people uh, we met later on the list of uh, hermit and uh, I, I i i had a look uh, who was in in Plassey from slovak side there was um, uh, we can find the absence of uh, unofficial scene from 80s there so the big artists which uh, after Velvet revolution uh, um, uh, could do exhibition in state galleries, big solo exhibition in state galleries. And finally, we built the Julius Koller and, uh, uh, and Filko, Stano Filko. So in, in that, these people uh, didn't attend uh, the, the Plassey because they had another exhibition bigger and important with the catalogs and so on. So, so this we can, couldn't find, but what we can find is the ensemble for contemporary art, for example, then uh, uh, sound artists, uh, installation artists, which are the professor from art academy mostly, and then performance artists, which were there also. So this this was the the 
how say the 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 staff what uh, what uh, we can find as a as a members there for slovak art uh, is is important that uh, uh, in uh, 93 we we became the uh, state slovak republic and then czech republic so we divorced and uh, and uh, the strategy of artists was that Slovak artists would like to present it in Czech uh, during the Czechoslovakia, but the, the connection between the art scene was not such strong, that it was mostly personal. So some of the artists were exhibited in Moravia, and it was a very big success if, if Slovak artists had exhibition in, in a Czech. And when we divorced, uh, there was a real border. So if I take in car something, I had uh, the declaration with the paper on the uh, and uh, and there was uh, uh, we we used to say when we were transporting something from Slovakia that it is only stuff for a theater piece. Yes, and it was able to transport uh, by car. Another way, if you say that it is a painting or it is a some artwork you have to declare it and pay a declaration and everything so it was started to be complicating that that transfers between two states and um, in 93 92 we had election and started this mechiar period which is similar like uh, orban and, and uh, as you know the madlen Albright, Albright said that slovakia is a black hole of Europe, this slogan is still now in the media. So it was really that position. So it, it, if we say that the normalization was in the 70s and 80s, that we have a mature normalization, which is somehow hibernatization of Slovak art. Neither we have, if I speak with the art theoretician who were employed like a director of museums they said it was a golden era because we had money because the system of giving the money uh, was still from the social uh, so, uh, social period but they had the money and they have uh, they, they were new directors and uh, new theoreticians so said used to say that in 93 is collapsed of independent art we stopped the uh, stopped uh, the foundation of art, and for example, I am also running this based on a civic society, so it is non-official, like non non institutional. It calls the profile for contemporary art, and I see it also like uh, influenced the independence scene because uh, throughout our magazine, for example, in '92, I, I wrote the first uh, article about Hermit, about existence of Hermit. So it was influ uh, it was uh, influ it had influence in the Slovak visual art scene, but it was uh, under the ministry they didn't give gave us the money, so we had to to stop our publishing and we reborn after five years when the Mechiars was uh, in, in election, he was um, uh, defeated and uh, the new government, new pro-Europe Union government uh, started under the, uh, and started also the support for independent culture. So 90s for us is very, very difficult by, but uh, uh, what I, I would like to uh, mention some some uh, events uh, which uh, was there also and how our Society for Non-Conventional Music, where I was uh, eight, uh, eight years uh, like a president of that society, the, they had uh, two members, collective members and uh, 50 re uh, real individual members, also with the Julius Kohler and so on. But the, this uh, collective member was Transmusic Company, and the, this ensemble of uh, of uh, musicians and around the uh, uh, Milan Adamciak, we realized during the two years maybe 60 concerts, very important uh, on the very important exhibition, and then we have a collective. Uh, Boulder Balvan Theater for experimental, very avant-garde theater 
and it had to, it was from the 97 till the 90, uh, 87 till 92, and it has also won the uh, movement this uh, uh, this platform and uh, non institutionalized uh, and uh, not supporting but by by government. Then what was important was uh, this uh, um, uh, festival of. Uh, uh, experimental art and later trans art communication. Then we had a very strong uh, music festival, evenings for new music, and it was uh, also, there was a, such a project that was about sound art or improvised music, which was also, this, this people was also shown in Hermit. Then we had a solo exhibition of John Cage in Slovak National Gallery and his performance, which has a big influence for our art scenes. And 20 years after, we used to say that it, it is the biggest event what happened in Slovakia. It was uh, uh, three months before his death. Then we have uh, small festivals, music solarium, for example, about improvised music, um, sound offers for uh, sound installation and sound uh, uh, sound art uh, orientated and uh, how to, to put it to the Europe with whom we mostly contacted was uh, uh, I have to mention also the Stratenberg Sy Symposium of Intermedia uh, then in Berlin Institute in Unsein Museum with, uh, from Australia but living in Berlin then also had Apple who is with Paul Pine, who is in, we also did some exhibitions of, from these catalogs and uh, we, we like uh, had an imagination of what's going on on the art scene. Then we really intensively worked with uh, Phil Niblock and his experimental intermedia and his uh, window gallery in, in Ghent. And then uh, in Budapest, it was Mamu Gallery, Magyar Muhei Art Magazine. And sure, if it uh, was Miklos Petrnak here, the big influence from uh, media art had a butterfly effect exhibition. And in Brno context, uh, it is uh, Ticho, quite art magazine, then Sklenina Louka, Strepi, and uh, it, is, uh, it is the dramaturgy of that of that, uh, uh, also in the magazine and uh, this gallery and this art club uh, was done with the collaboration of Society for Non-Conventional Music. So it was like a background of, of our, our informations and contacts and so on. And uh, uh, Plasi, yes, when I was there first time in 92 with uh, Phil Niblock, uh, it was really shock because in Slovakia we we uh, no 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 NGO nobody was interesting to occupy a building and run such space. We uh, we rent uh, space for one uh, festival and then uh, uh, going going there we uh, we found some some space pieces and after uh, uh, doing the festival we leave that space. But it was really very strong uh, uh, place to be here, and uh, sure, what uh, with uh, how Ranek said, quiet and installation and slowly movement, it was a fascination. But uh, I did uh, very very funny performances with Peter uh, Peter Kalmus there and uh, Lisa Chagovic was there and so on. So so. It was in another days there was also the funny atmosphere, but um, uh, and the the uh, I had to also mention that uh, I I was there for a couple of symposium and presentation of my book, which calls Avalanche, Avalanches, and this is a recapitulation after five first five years of Society for Nonconventional Music. I did a catalog what we did last five years. So such books, so I, I have no archive because I did uh, the book uh, really very early. It was in 95 and it is uh, hanged on the monoscope and you can find it. 
and there is there is but in Slovak language there is a uh, all that uh, our activities uh, listed and mentioned. So it is a framework. What I can I could say. Uh, uh, I wanted to say in in that context how I I feel uh, the the 90s and thanks uh, to Milos uh, I rem very remember this period because uh, we are running the next decade and uh, there is another situation was after 2000 then after 2010 and in Slovakia, in Slovak National Gallery, they did uh, exhibition after decades. So 60s, 70s, 80s was done. Then was the special zeros, but the 90s, uh, 90s are not. Uh, uh, that we have no no output because uh, there is. Uh, I I don't know, but there are different meanings. Such activities as and such projects. Like was the participation of the, 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 the like say, independent scene on or ne, uh, next unofficial scene uh, after 80s in the 90s and anti matriarch activities and so on. We had exhibition which was specially, especially uh, presenting uh, anti uh, movement in the Slovak uh, art uh, scene and so on. Uh, so. It is all what I wanted to say, and you can ask questions. Thank you. Martin Zodi speaking. It's uh, related to what Vitek said about the slow movement in, of people in Plassey. And I remember your performance playing football, but cannot remember, maybe it was also in, not too fast, yeah? Uh, yeah, we had the special performances with the slowly movement, uh, with the Peter Kalmus. So, for example, was in uh, in uh, <laughs> Malamut in <laughs> Ostrava. I, I jumped to the this uh, uh, Tesco uh, vehicle, and I was there lying, and he was slowly moving moving me on the square, and I had a. I had uh, transparent with the text uh, uh, that uh, uh, slowly movement of uh, of something or quickly movement of uh, snail or so something like that. I I couldn't remember. And then we put to the children's car the snails, uh, and we said it is uh, quickly movement of the snails. So we move very slowly, but. Uh, it comes also from the 90s when I was doing the experimental theater, and this uh, experimental theater was influenced by Grotowski and Buto dance, and uh, was influenced also by Mintanaka. I was on workshops there with the Tomasz Ruler, for example, and we used uh, slowly movement uh, on that performance. So it is special chapter about slowly movement in my performance. Uh, it was not me. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, thank you for for. Okay. <laughs> so next piece to my uh, archive. <laughs> 